All right, so for today, we are doing a production estimate for a class fly rod. Uh, I'm Dion Peters, and I'm Ed Um Just a short background on class fly rods. Um, they get their name because they, the rod blank is made of fiberglass, and fiberglass is a composite material. It offers high durability and great cost efficiency. And the fly rod part that's referring to the fly reel, which is used to cast your line. And our general task was to estimate 25,000 units of glass fly rods. All right, so the problem was that we had to first analyze a glass fly rod and we had to research in our time find how it was built, what each, what each part consisted of, and how much each part cost. And so we first gathered all that information first, and we started to do our research to find each cost for the parts. And we used popular companies like Orbis and Reddington to base off that research and information from. And then after considering the prices of parts and things such as such as that, we came up with possible alternatives. We could have made our own parts. We would have had to source raw material that would have created a lot more burden as far as manufacturing and labor. However, the better alternative that we decided was to source all of our parts from distributors and retail companies. Um, just some assumptions we made, we had a burden rate of $105 per hour of labor, and the fly rod that we are estimating for is a nine foot rod, and it has a five weight uh, rating. And as far as any differences between each rod, we are assuming there are none, so the color doesn't change. Um, and there's, uh, every rod will essentially be an identical. All right, so we, uh, you know, we gathered our information, and we created our database, and when we found everything put together, thanks to our researchers with the internet, uh, with YouTube, uh, various of the comparisons with popular brand companies, came to find out that our estimated part list and cost was about $376.37. Now with the burden rate that we were given, uh, we used that to find our estimated labor hours and cost. Uh, so hourly, it would take about 1.275 hours to put together a glass fly rod, and it would cost about $133.89 based on that labor. Uh, for one unit of, of glass fly rod, it would cost us about $510.26. And then when it came to the 25,000 units that we were seeking for, it came out to a total of $12,756,500. All right. And then we were given an actual estimate with a parts list and a labor estimate as well. And the parts list, the cost came out to $145.06. And the actual labor estimate came out to uh, 1.04 hours per unit, and using the same burden rate, that comes out to $109.20 in labor, and so the final cost per unit would be $254.26. And our actual cost for the entire job, so the whole 25,000 units, would be six million dollars 356500 So we took a step back and we started to compare our estimate with the actual results. And we found out that in the actual resource list for the parts, uh, we included a, co a, a real with line cost. Uh, and it affected greatly to what the actual parts list uh, external cost would have been. And the real 
wine added into our estimate kind of doubled the amount of what the actual unit of a fly rod should have cost. And so, regardless, we had a difference between the cost of excluding labor of about $256,000. Sorry, $256. Uh, the front cost excluding the real wine, although, was about $157.37. And when we adjusted that price, we had only a difference, well, this is assuming that we are not taking uh, labor into account, of $12.31. So you can see that the real cost was over $200. That was a very large part of our, uh, our, our estimated cost. Also one thing to know is our rod blank that we estimated for was $99. The actual cost was only $54. So even if we, not, not even necessarily skimped on getting a cheaper rod, but just found a more affordable option, which also may cater to newer um, anglers, we could definitely uh, estimated cost even lower than the actual cost we were given. Yeah. Uh, so when it came to the actual uh, analyzation of the rod itself, we found that the weights did not at all affect the cost. And so we believe that maybe comparing popular brands was maybe a mistake and that maybe we should have focused on other companies that got, got really, uh, sold cheaper options and cheaper parts for the for the construction of a fly rod. Uh, we also could have uh, integrated how the, the consumables of the, the decal, the thread, the epoxy can come in bundles and those bundles can lessen the charges to put together a glass fly rod. As well as sourcing parts in bulk orders when you're uh, accruing parts as well volumes of parts as much as 25,000 uh, parts, you're going to want to try and see if you can get a bulk order um, where you may be getting a volume discount. All of our estimations, they were based off of buying a single product off of a retail or a distributed website, which is not the most cost efficient way to go about doing an estimation, so that definitely would be uh, where we could improve, and so if there's any questions.